now I can say that I'm a six-figure clothing brand owner and I've only had my brand for about four months, so less than six months, less than a year. Hey guys. Oh! I'm in my new apartment and I just can't believe this is my apartment. I'm just so blessed. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my journey, so yeah. Uh, there's just so much to talk about, honestly. I cannot thank anyone but God for everything that's happened to me. The way that my faith has gotten me through so many tougher times um, throughout college and just not knowing, like literally just the unknown of what I was gonna do and where I was gonna go after college, really, God got me through everything and my faith got me through everything. So let me give you guys a little bit of backstory. Um, literally my dream apartment, it's in a whole new city. I go to FSU right now, but I'm graduating in like 20 days, 20 something days. So I have a student apartment at FSU, well off campus, but I also have this one. But right after I graduate, so like in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, I'm moving here. So currently I'm paying for two rents right now. But you have to do what you gotta do. Anyways, so if we go kind of all the way back, it can be scary like being a postgraduate and just always getting the question of, well, what are you gonna do? What's what's next? That's always such a big question that your family has, your friends have. That question was so triggering for me because I really had no idea. I didn't have a passion for um, a specific job. I didn't work during college because I really wanted just to focus on my grades. And school was super important to me. I've always kind of had that ideology. So I started kind of content creation just on TikTok and Instagram and trying to live that influencer lifestyle. You know, I was doing it. I started kind of in 2020, but I didn't really start trying to make money from it until like my sophomore slash junior year of college. And I was thinking, well, I could do this, you know, to get me money in the meantime. And then I started seeing a lot of people making real money from it. And I was like, okay, I could definitely do this. My followers were growing, but I, I wasn't really getting monetized for the things I was doing. I kind of was all over the place. I didn't really have a niche. So when I an agency reached out to me and I was like, oh, I 100% want to do this. Like I was with them. Mind you, it was a non-contractual agreement. So it was just, you know, we would just FaceTime for meetings and things like that. It wasn't really like a contract. Very good on my end because I could work with anybody else and not have to worry about that. But they did get like, I think it's 30% or 20% of whatever the deal was. I don't know. But long story short, you know, four months went by and I got one deal. One deal isn't going to pay the bills. It wasn't, and it wasn't anything. Like it was probably like a couple hundred dollars. Like it was not something that is livable. So for me, it, it worked during my college years, like college, because I wasn't, I was paying rent, but I got a scholarship. I was getting help from grants and things like that, so it wasn't coming out of my pockets, but you know, the extra money was livable, but it, or for college, not for what I wanted to achieve outside of college. And it, it's my senior year, you know, time was ticking. September came by, I also reached out to another agency because I was really unsatisfied with the one I was working with. Essentially, they couldn't do much for me because of my analytics, like my, I was getting a lot of impressions and things, but it wasn't the audience that they were targeting, so. They were like, yeah, you could be on our non-priority roster and we'll just kind of help you where we can. And that's just, it just wasn't what I was looking for. And I felt so discouraged because I just felt like I was getting told no and no and no, no. And then it just made me rethink maybe this influencing thing isn't for me. My mindset's always thinking like, how can you be different? What's something that you could do that's, that's different that other people just, you know, don't have that you do. And... I needed something I was passionate about. I wasn't necessarily passionate about content making. I didn't like the fact that if I had to go to, if I went to the gym, I had to film it to get, you know, you know, like, I know some people's jobs and all respect to that, but for me, it just, sometimes I wanna just go to the gym and focus on working out and not getting the right angles, you know what I mean? So it was just a struggle. After I realized that this just wasn't for me, I had to think about something else. So think about something. What's your passion? What do you wanna do? And I, thought about, what about a clothing brand? So I thought, okay, what if I did a fitness brand? And then immediately, literally the next day, I was like, that's not gonna work because I started looking for fabrics and things to start making, getting a manufacturer and things like that. But it just, it didn't make sense because I was gonna be competing against Gymshark and Nike and all these big brands that it's just, why would people buy from you versus like anyone else? 
One day, I was sitting in my room with my high water pants on, my job 510. So I was like, man, I, I always wanted pants, like pajamas, comfortable, cute clothes that I could just wear out that would fit me. And I never had that. And that's literally when my idea just came to fruition. And I was like, oh my gosh, a tall girl clothing brand. Ever since my idea started and I posted it on Instagram, I mean, Instagram for it, it just like blew up essentially. I got samples, you know, from other manufacturers and see which one I like the best. I spent hundreds of dollars on just getting samples, getting all of the things ready for my first launch. And then I just posted my samples on a new Instagram account I made. But the misconception is that a lot of people think that, oh, she has 110,000 followers on her main page. That's probably why she has 170,000 followers on her brand page and it has no correlation. When I tell you I posted my pictures on my, my new, brand new page, brand page with zero followers, I think I had like 50 people go and follow me for my main. What I think really, really helped me was the fact that I niched myself down to tall women in particular and that I really had a plan for my business and I knew how to market, you know, doing social media for two years since 2020, two to three years, it really showed me how to grow like social media accounts and just kind of like follow trends and know how to use sounds and know what pictures to use and know what videos to use and things like that. So I'm really grateful for that side of uh, social media. I found my passion, I found what I love doing and I made money from it and I think that was like the key to everything. And now I can say that I'm a six-figure clothing brand owner and I've only had my brand for about four months, so less than six months, less than a year. Um, I've only had four drops and I'm just so incredibly blessed and I can't thank God enough because I, when I tell you guys, I was in a season of waiting for sure. I've seen all like my friends or just close peers or people that I admire, you know, just living the life that I was like, dang, like, and not to envy them at all, but I was congratulating them, but it was just like, man, God, when is it my turn? Like, when is it my time to really live how I want to live? I was living in a, yes, it was a student apartment, but the first one I lived in was very much the worst apartment. There was a lot of crime there. It was really just ghetto and unsafe. It took a, a big toll on my mental health. And even through all of that, like I was sad, I was, there was, Definitely days where I was crying, like, man, my count went negative a couple times in college, and I was just praying to God. You know, I never lost faith. My faith never wavered. I always gave him the glory for everything, and that doesn't mean to say, like, I wasn't sad. You know, wondering when, when it's going to be my turn, I, I just let God, I literally let God, and I just, just kept on praying and being faithful to him and figuring it out, and that is, that's not to say that I had faith without works. I definitely worked hard for where I'm at, but in the midst of everything, like he, he just blessed me. I'm still in shock with everything. And this is how I know God's timing is always right because I'm a senior in college and I started my business in November. When I tell you guys, I was stressed to the max, right? I have five classes. It was a lot um, on my mental health and it's still a lot. Like I'm not done, but I do have a couple more weeks left, so. You know, it's a lot better, but man, figuring out biz your business and also having to excel and do well in your classes to graduate um, is not easy. Being a business owner is, it sounds fun, it sounds good, which it is, it's cool, but it definitely has its like cons. It's not all just <sighs> joy. I'm very grateful, but it's, it's just a lot more to it than I even expected. God knew that I couldn't handle being a business owner when I was a sophomore or junior in college. He knew what he was doing. That's why I say like, just having patience and trusting in him is just the only way. There's just no words. Like I can't believe this is where I'm at right now. I'm from Washington State and I moved from Washington State to Florida not knowing anybody. I didn't know any, I didn't have any friends. I didn't know anyone that went to FSU. I left in the middle of my semester after the quarter was done, so like winter break, and I just applied to go to FSU. I got accepted and I just transferred literally and just because a lot of people ask me, why'd you leave? And I just want to get out of my comfort zone. I just wanted to try something else, try a new environment. The world is so big and I feel like staying in your little town sometimes can really hinder you. And I just wanted to try something different. I did, there wasn't really a particular reason. I did like Florida, I liked the weather, but 
I really just wanted to push myself and see what I could do. So I moved. I moved across the country, literally. It was, it was a lot, but um, I say that to say that getting out of my comfort zone was probably the best thing that I could have done. I'm not saying I wouldn't have started a business um, in Washington, who knows, but just knowing that I can do that and get out of my comfort zone really, really, really showed me that I can do anything, honestly. Graduating FSU, which is a, it's an accomplishment in itself, but I'm also graduating with an honors distinction. I give all glory to God, literally. I, I don't know, like it's just, yeah, I wanna make this channel more so focused on my business. Like just behind the scenes of what I do when I package orders, when I go to the post office or whatever, or I'm getting a warehouse as well. It's not gonna be a warehouse like I'm owning the whole entire place, but I'm renting out a space in the warehouse, but I'll have access to everything in the warehouse, if that makes sense. I'm super excited for that because I'm expanding and man, getting 55, 60 boxes shipped to your apartment, your student apartment is not, I would not recommend. And when you own a business, like especially when you're first starting out, there's gonna be, there's so many mistakes that I made and there's still, I'm gonna keep making mistakes. Like I'm learning from everything. I just wanna make this channel um, about my business and just the kind of behind the scenes and also lifestyle things like just what I'm gonna be doing and all the things like that. I'm a pretty private person, so I do wanna get back into blogging, things like that, just, um, and also informational videos because there's just so much I've learned and I get so many DMs about things. I kinda just wanna share my journey and what it's, what it's like also so I can look back on it myself and just see what I was doing in 2024, 2025. I'm learning about taxes, I'm learning about different manufacturers and different fabrics and the compositions of different fabrics. Even though it might be 10% of a different composition, it feels so much different. And having to wait for that sample for a week and a half and then not liking it, having to order another one, which pushes your drop date back. It's just so much that a lot of people just don't quite understand how much really goes into everything. And you lose money, you lose a lot of money doing things, you make mistakes doing things. Uh, could You realize you could have done things a lot better. Um, I will tell you my main path. I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and a business owner, but when I started college, that wasn't like, okay, I'm gonna be in college and then I'm gonna start my own business. That's not what I was thinking. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be in college, I'm gonna climb up like the corporate ladder, and then eventually I'm gonna become a CEO of some business. God has a path for you guys, God has a path for me, God has a path for everybody who believes, and you never know what could happen. So I say support your friends, give your friends their flowers, make sure. You are there for everyone and just not being envious or jealous of anybody because you never know what could happen, um, especially when you're faithful. And it's really just as simple as that. I'm so incredibly grateful and excited for everything to come. And I hope you guys want to watch my journey and continue to, you know, support. And I love all my friends that like support and bought for my business really warms my heart because I feel like a lot of people don't do things until it's popular. And so I had like some of my friends buy it when I first launched or when I first started. And that really shows, you know, that you guys care and care about me and want to see me grow. Yeah, I'm just really grateful and really appreciative of everything. So I'm going to be consistent with YouTube. I know it's a slow grind. If you heard anything about YouTube, it's definitely a slow grind, but I'm going to still be consistent. So ready to get it going. Oh, shit.